we are back at one of the coolest spots I've ever found, a literal river of rushing water into this awesome tunnel that leads to a saltwater canal. Let's see what we can find in this area. Now the cool thing about this spot is it is literally like brackish water. It's like salt and fresh combined. Last time we caught a bunch of baby glass minnows inside the tunnel. They were absolutely everywhere. So I did say I wanted to drop a trap on the saltwater side. I'm still kind of focused on the front side of the tunnel today. So let me know by dropping a like on this video if you definitely think I should come back and drop a trap on the other side as well. We'll drop double traps. A big reason why I like this spot is because it's literally like brackish. You don't know what you're gonna catch, salt or fresh water. I'm still gonna go over here where the tunnel is, where that rushing water is. That's where I'm gonna drop this trap because I think that is the money zone. A lot of moving water, lots of fish. Now, I don't know if you guys can hear but right under me in this sewer, that's where the tunnel is. And there's moving water in there. And over here in this little gate, I don't know if you guys can hear it. Get get close to it. You hear that water? There's water in there and that means there's fish in there. So we may drop a little line, see if we can catch something inside with a, with a rod. But we're using this trap today, the OG umbrella trap. It did really well last time and I think it's gonna do really well this time again. There could be some crawfish under these rocks, some crabs, you never really know what you're gonna catch. Let's set this trap, let's drop it. And then let's go hunt a couple shrimp here. I'm just gonna chunk up and throw in this trap always does me well with just some shrimp always does really good and that's all you need all you need is a couple shrimp now I'm gonna drop this trap right in this kind of the same area as last time right by the tunnel so I got to get down these rocks very safely I know Brooke does not like climbing on these rocks because if you fall you're going right into this water so once I set the trap we just got to wait and see what's gonna come by right there is perfect all that water is moving through that trap see that see what's laying there right where that water's moving that is absolute money that's perfect Hopefully all the fish are gonna smell that and go right into that trap. Now, while we wait for this trap, we're gonna do a couple different things. The first thing I wanna try is flipping some of these rocks. We always flip rocks in the saltwater areas, but I'm curious to see if there's anything in these rocks. So I'm gonna go around with a net, flip these rocks, and then we're gonna move on to that sewer so we can catch something out of there. But let's see if there's anything in these rocks. Oh, I got him, let's go baby. Oh, look at this dude. Oh my God, he's crazy. Look at this guy. Oh my God, he's crawling on me. Look at that thing. Little crab found underneath the rocks. There's gotta be tons of these crabs everywhere here. Look at that guy. That is extremely kind of cool, actually. Look at that, look at those claws on him. He's not pinching me. He thinks we're buddies. All you gotta do is flip rocks in these areas and you will almost guaranteed catch something cool. Look at this, I am crab man right now. That's epic. Let's get this guy in the bucket. We can maybe have some use for him. Look at that. Oh, I think we lost him. There he is, got him. Let's get this guy in the bucket. Brooke thinks she sees a crawfish right there. I'm not sure what it is, but there could be crawfish in our trap when we pull this thing. All right, just something to think about. We could see some crawfish. Now I'm curious to see if there's anything in this sewer here. So I'm gonna shrimp this guy up, see if there's actually fish actually inside of the tunnel. That's what we're gonna do here. Let's drop this, uh, let's drop this shrimp in here. Easy does it, easy does it, ladies and gents. Here we go. Now while we wait for this bait, make sure you guys go to fishguy.shop and check out the brand new shirts. We dropped a white tee. It's a don't be trashy white tee. It's our first white tee on the site. It is absolutely amazing for the hot Florida days. This is my favorite shirt right now in the collection. I'm gonna be wearing this every single video. I absolutely love this shirt. The colorway is insane. Go check out Fish Guy on Shop. Every single order removes trash from the ocean. So it's just a bonus. I think we're getting a nibble. God, I gotta back up. We're getting a nibble. We're getting a nibble. We're gonna nibble. Let's go. There is fish in there. Look at this dude in the sewer. That is a little cichlid there. Obviously, these guys are absolutely everywhere. I'm pretty sure they're invasive here in Florida and they are just literally everywhere. All over the canals, absolutely everywhere. So I am not surprised. He didn't even get to eat my shrimp. I am not surprised that this little guy was in there. But look at that dude, pretty cool color. He's got that little spot in the back of him there. We're gonna let this guy go. We do not. Actually, we might wanna feed this guy to our pond. You know what? We're gonna put him in the bucket. Look at those red gills. Pretty freaking cool. Let's get this guy in the bucket. All right, it's been about 40, 35 minutes. The ducks are out. They smell the shrimp. They know I'm feeding. They know I'm catching fish. They want to eat too, but I'm going to pull this trap. I'm pretty sure there's fish inside of it. Just going to pull it up really quick, run it to the bucket, see what's inside. All right, I got the rope here. You know, before I pull it, I'm going to get my bucket just in case so I can dump all the fish in. That's how quick the water is moving. It's going to take my rope in. Leave that there. I got to get my bucket. All right, let's pull this thing. Yep, we got fish. We got fish, ladies and gents. Oh yeah, we got fish. Guys in the trap. We're gonna fall out. Oh my God, we got a lot. We have a lot. Holy moly. Oh yeah, we got definitely different kinds of fish here. Is that a pleco? We got a pleco. We got a pleco, ladies and gents. These guys are super, super spiky and a ton of minnows. This spot's fire. I, I guarantee you the saltwater side's gonna be fire too. Look at this pleco. Let's go. We got an absolute ton of different things in this bucket. We got this awesome pleco. They are absolutely everywhere in these canals as well. The cichlids and the plecos, especially even giant plecos are everywhere in these canals. This guy's pretty damn cool. They're always good to have 
have an aquarium. So they'll eat all the algae and they're great for keeping it clean. We also got a ton of cichlids. Once again, not surprised. I caught one out of the tunnel, caught one in the fish trap. We got three and four in this bucket. That is going to be great to feed the pond. There's going to be some epic eats with these guys. The cichlids are always a great catch. Very, very cool fish. We also got another one of these crabs. So there are a total of two of these little baby crabs in there. The first one we caught underneath the rocks, netting them out actually. And then this guy crawled into the fish trap trying to get that shrimp. Not today, sir. You were in my fish trap. And then of course, a bunch of these little baby minnows, an absolute ton of them, an absolute ton of them. A lot of them fell through the holes because they're really, really small, but these guys are also great to stock the pond with. We're just gonna throw all these guys in the pond. They might even survive because they're so small. The fish might even want to eat them. We got tons of things in this bucket and I am sweating, guys. Holy cow, it's hot. It rained for like five seconds and it's like 95% humidity. Let's get back to the house and put these guys in some aquariums. Now, a couple weeks ago, maybe last week, I threw some live shrimp in here and the fish actually went ape. Except the bass. The bass did not really like live shrimp, but the tarpon absolutely loved them. He had some incredible eats on the GoPro. And I'm sure the bass are definitely gonna like cichlids because that's what they eat in the wild, they eat cichlids. Let's throw some in and see if any of them get smoked. These are always really good to feed the fish. Free food, we spent so much, you guys don't even understand the dollar signs we spent on food. It's like, we have so many big fish, so much shrimp is bought and fed to these guys. So let's see if my boy here can survive for more than three seconds. I gotta wash my fingers because this bass is gonna kill me. Oh! That was epic! I don't even know if I got that on the GoPro. That was so freaking epic. Jeremy even wants one. He's... Oh! <laughs> the bass really scare the hell out of me, guys. They scare me badly. Here we go. Another one going in. Let's see how long this guy takes. Do not eat my fingers. Harpin's there, too. It's so hard to see these guys. Oh! That was epic. That was epic. That bass is going ham. Absolutely gorgeous bass. Yeah. He's got that blue tail. That is, uh, I'm not sure exactly what kind of bass. Jack knows what it is, but it is an absolutely gorgeous fish. Azul bass, I think it's called. Azul peacock bass. Absolutely gorgeous bass in here. All right, he's already had two. Let's see if he wants a third. This guy can really eat. We took them out of the water, like I mentioned in my last video, and they are really big. Those are like at least four pound bass. Big boys. Not that, not the GoPro. Jeremy's itching to eat too. Oh, I don't know if I got that. I don't know if I got that. That was sick, dude. That bass is going crazy. I've been loving this pond ever since we you know cleared it all out and it looks really good I've been, I've been loving filming content with it for you guys you guys that seem to absolutely love this pond we got one more stick to the left to see if mr bass wants it don't know where it is it is it, it escaped did he get it oh i think he got it he got it. oh he's chasing it he's chasing it down he's chasing it down i don't know if he's gonna get it we're gonna let him have some fun in here with that lap. oh he just blew it up over there that was epic i freaking love these fish look at this crap look at this crap no way no way he lives for longer than two seconds all right we're gonna have a crab in here Nothing, no one's gonna eat that thing. Let's go! He's surviving! Let's go! Jeremy. Let's go, we added some crabs to the pond today. That was unexpected, but we did it. Oh my God, he ate the crab! Did he? <laughs> yes, he ate it! He literally swallowed the crab whole. It's like a little snack, it's a little, little candy for him. You want a little candy? You missed it. Oh, he ate it! You know, when you go downstairs, you grab a couple M&Ms. That's what that is for, uh, for Jeremy the catfish. A little M&M snack. Now, with the amount of minnows we caught, there's some pretty ones in there. Let's see if they'll even, uh, survive the koi the predatory koi might ac actually go after these things so let's see how they'll do in here let them all go like that little minnows let's go minnow army now baby tons of them in there i don't think any of the fish are going to eat them i genuinely think we may get a steady population of little minnows like what is going to go after those little minnows there's no way the bass eat those so so we actually added some fish that may survive the night some little minnows i don't think anything is going to eat those guys now i am going to put the pleco in but i don't want anything to eat them so i'm going to put a, put them against the wall but look at what the <laughs> what is he doing look at that thing that is actually insane it's literally an armored catfish it's actually not so i'm going to put him i'm going to put him right here by the light and i don't think anything's to eat him because uh, he's a pleco. So there he goes, swimming down to the bottom. He'll fit in just nicely with all the other plecos and he'll do some work with that algae. I always love putting plecos in here because you can never have too many in this, in such a big pond, you can never have too many plecos. We definitely got to drop the fish trap on both sides next time. I just wanted to get a quick tunnel trap again today. It's really fun doing that trap there. But I think next time for sure, if you guys want to see it, I'm going to drop a trap on the other side of the canal where the saltwater canal actually, where it leads to saltwater. So drop a like on this video if you guys want to see it. Got some cool fish today in the fish trap and with this little net. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.